Thanks, John. Six young African Nova Scotians have been chosen as rising stars in their communities, and one of them recently graduated from right here at the Waterfront campus of NSCC. Once you hear what he's been up to, you'll understand why he was chosen. Lindell Smith is a pretty quiet guy. Rich and famous is cool, but I always was, I like to be just kind of in the background, the person behind the curtain. And Smith is doing big things in the background. He's a recent grad from the Recording Arts Program at NSCC, and he started up this nonprofit recording studio for underprivileged youth in Uniac Square, where he works for free. Seeing them get to go in the booth, preparing for performances, and, and seeing how happy they are, and cooking food with them, and, and just seeing that they're, when they're here, they're just themselves, and they're happy. That's, that's payment enough for me. That desire to give back is why he's been chosen as one of the province's rising stars for African Heritage Month, a theme this NSCC student advisor says is needed. So often we hear of the bad that comes out of that community, but not the good. So this is a good story on both ends for the college, the campus, and for the community. Smith says he's proud of the award, and he wants to show youth they're not a stereotype. All right, you guys are from Uniac Square or North End, so most likely your your bad kids, your your hoodlums or whatever you want to call them. So everything you do is negative. Where I want to show them, in other our other mentors want to show them that no, not everything you do is negative. Yeah, you're told that by the media, but that's not true. That's not true. Posters of the six rising stars will be put up across the province. The Minister of African Nova Scotian Affairs is touring Nova Scotia this week to kick off the African Heritage Month celebration. Sean?